scary, isn't it? You boys and girls make sure you keep your hands on the handlebars at all times. Boy, I sure am bushed. Have you had enough yet, sir? What do you mean, bushed? Where are the big rides? The big ones. All right, guys. Greetings from Gothenburg, Sweden. And we are today we are headed off to Liseberg. That was a lot less smooth than I was hoping it would be. Anyway, I'm not going to re reshoot that one. Um, we have Valkyria and Balder right outside the hotel window, which is quite the view. You know, some people had better views. I'm not complaining about this one because Balder is my most anticipated park, or at least anticipated in the park. And we got two days here, so let's get this going. Yeah. All right, boys, let's speed run this thing out. Yeah, buddy. They're going to start us off with a little Luna Park for a little bit of a family bo boomerang Luna Coaster, brand new. Yeah. This is one heck of a park, and this is a really nice day. So glad to have the sun back. Broke down, got a Jersey Summerland poncho. Gale Force winds, actually, literally, not even joking. So it's pouring rain at this point. We're all standing here. Waiting for this loop screw. So Luna, good family boomerang. It's my second one in two days after never riding one in my whole life. So interesting thing about this one is that it actually goes up that spike pretty far. So I think a front row ride's in order. This is how we get two helix. Escalators. It's a crazy queue. Can't say it's themed, but it is uh, it's interesting. Alright, we've been walking around for a couple minutes. Still no sign of the station, but we've got through the maze of steel and green lights. So what's around here? I think we're getting closer. I think we are, but no, still no sign of the station. Five minutes into our walk, no station. This is, I think this is my new hardest coaster to marathon award winner. This has given Zoom and Jaro and American Eagle a run for its money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Q Gates station. <laughs> we have arrived. Finally, I'm tired. I'm gonna take a nap. Helix is one of the more legendary station soundtracks. Right, Helix, Sam, 400, congratulations, man. You've done it. That was elite. Uh, top 50 coaster, I think for sure. Um, probably got, got some gets more uh, rides running near the back. It was pretty great. Could not believe how long the ride was. That was insane. So we will get some ERT in that later. Probably get a few more rides. I can't imagine leaving here without getting at least like 10 rides on that thing. Valkyria was one of the smaller dive coasters, but very good setting. Um, theming, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I would say, in terms of many dive coasters I've ridden, much better than Emperor, which is not saying a whole lot. And then Dr. Diabolical, it's close. Might give Diabolical the edge for having the beyond vertical drop and the second drop. This one is more inversion based. So I would say pretty good addition. Better than Kanonen slash Madugani. Uh, I don't think so. So this game, you could actually win a gigantic Oreo. Like, there's actually food in there. That's crazy. Roulette. Roulette. Okay. Oreo, Oreo roulette. You win, you get diabetes. For the famous Leesburg Bonin, and that was a very long, very, very uh, pretty smooth, good pacing, except for you know, it does have to stop and a little bit repetitive, but you know, for what it is, train, mine train family coaster, very, very good. Right. El Toro's little brother, Balder, 
I'm excited for this one. All right, Balder in Swedish means buttocks. So let's go ride buttocks the ride. You do one too. Okay, we'll wait. Hi Josh, number 400. Oh, worth it? Boulder was amazing. I loved every moment of it. Like, it, it, it was everything I wanted it to be. It was exactly what I was expecting. Like, even a little bit better. But the airtime is great. It's smooth. It's fun. I, I had a blast. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely not El Toro. But if you're expecting, you know, repetitive airtime after airtime, that was some strong airtime. Mm -hmm. Back, back yeah. car. Get yeah, it. yeah, back car. Did like what I did El Toro, second to last row, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. Balder, second back row. Mine's getting a little long, but that thing has just good solid airtime throughout. Last airtime hill is the best, because it kind of twists you to the, the left. Uh, in terms of that versus Helix, I'd say it's close, but I think Helix is just way more dynamic. Gotta give the edge for now. But ERT is coming. In line for atmosphere. When you, get, when you wait too long in the line, you start getting like Hulk smash, Hulk smash. <laughs> Alright, we got an atmosphere. Good drop tower. It used to be an observation tower. Didn't know that, but it makes sense if you look at it. Then we sprinted to Helix. These guys are nuts. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. We have three minutes left on our virtual queue time, and we made it with three minutes to spare. And they only give you 10 minute windows, so it's like really small. And it expires. It is a great system, but it is super close. Yeah, yeah you only got 10 hard. minutes. Like Disney, you get an hour. Here, you only get 10. And we used every last minute of that. I, I'm just stunned that we even made it. <laughs> we made a count. We, we made, made a count. count. But back row at Helix? Yes, uh -huh. absolutely uh -huh. elite. Yes, I don't like the lap bars, but the layout is like one of the best in the world. Balder in the front car, very, very aggressive, very aggressive airtime, not as sustained. I think I like it better in the back. Better luck with Valkyria's single rider that line. Got row two, not bad. Um, good layout. I mean, it's it's a dive, you know. It just it's a shame they got rid of Kanonen for that but I think it's way more popular than Kanona. It's definitely more modern. Appropriate to ride that on the day that Dorney finally announces the brand new Iron Menace. And I thought Steel Vengeance was bad. Iron Menace, come on guys. So I don't know if that's going to be better than Valkyria, but you know, probably pretty similar. This for Bonin, Fred back Rogan. Didn't seem like any other row would be worth it. Um, so much whip. It's pretty aggressive around those helixes, and then at the end you get a nice pop of airtime. So I don't know if that's a family coaster or not, but if it is, best family coaster ever. All right, kids dark ride. Let's see how this is. I'm kind of, I'm kind of frightened actually right now. This is the good gravy queue. This might be. This might be more frightening than any other ride we've ridden this trip. We're getting a free show on this thing. This looks like the Haunted Mansion. It might be haunted actually. It's kind of scary. Kids Dark Ride may have been the best dark ride that I've seen since, well, I don't know, probably since Disney World. So uh, if you ever get to Leesburg, for one, use the virtual queue. It's amazing. And it's unlimited. You can have multiple people book things at a time. It's great. Uh, and then ride the Underplanet ride. That is cool. Stamp bonded. Let's try this one. Rub Alder. Let's uh, lose our self-respect on a kiddie coaster. <laughs> Let's 
see that water right there. It drips down on people's heads as they come back into the station, which is hilarious. And with that, we have park completion. Seven credits at Leesburg, check. And now it is time to uh, go write some good stuff. When you got four minutes till your time, how do you walk? Show us, this. demonstrate. That, too long, that, too, too fast. All right, <laughs> here we go. Oh crap, there's people behind us. <laughs> that is still way too fast. We still have two minutes. There we go. So this is the Helix Cube. We kind of walked through it earlier, but this is what it looks like. It's like a maze, like a multi-level maze of just craziness. You never even know where the station is. It just goes like all over. Just madness. Just did Helix in the front. That was the first time we did that. That was definitely a different experience. I didn't like it quite as much. Some of the elements were a little bit better. There was some better hang time. Um, still got staple. I kind of like, avoid getting stapled. But one thing I really noticed up front was the rattle. Um, not really a problem in the back, but in the front, for some reason, it's rougher. We don't usually do intimate pendulums in America, but Sam picked the best one to start with. How was it? First that? Frisbee? Ever. I like them. It feels yep. like a B&M hyper. Yep. Super smooth, super graceful, lots of airtime. Yep. Good ride. That's why I love it. So this park, anywhere you go, you'll find these roulette wheels where you can just buy, like, win these giant candy bars, and they are literally everywhere. Everywhere you turn, you see one of these roulette wheels with giant, you know, usually just chocolate. Uh, it's crazy. I've never seen it before, and here they're everywhere. It is the last year for this log flume. I don't usually ride log flumes, but I had to ride this one. This one was pretty good. Um, and also, this part of the park is really nice. This whole thing is built on the side of a hill. So you can just kind of walk around and see all the crazy nature around you. So uh, this is this hill's not for the weak of heart. If you uh, have trouble walking up hills and stuff, it's gonna be rough. But um, otherwise, enjoy the workout. All right, two hours till ERT. I got my Manu Gunny sweatshirt, which is very appropriate for this park because this used to be here. For those who you who don't know, um, yeah. So Balder. Still running a little bit slow. Really looking forward to ERT tomorrow night on that. These for bonding at the fourth ride on that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep slamming rides here until 11 o'clock and then ERT till midnight. All right, Valkyria round four. This is the first time I rode on the left. I gotta say the ride's growing on me because, as Sam says, Left's better, right? Left side was way better. Yeah. You get more air time. The inversions are a little floatier, and the overbank feels better. Yeah. The whole ride was better in the, in the left. Who knew? So if you can, get the left side. I think that was round five on Leesburg Bonin. Got one at night. That was awesome. Just awesome. So, park's about to close. Time for ERT on Helix. One hour. Mm -hmm. And then after that one hour... So on Helix had the first non acoustic crew person recognize me. So shout out to the write up on Helix. Thanks for being cool and not stapling me. All right, five rides on Helix during ERT. Still 30 minutes left in ERT, but you know what? I'm getting old, I'm tapping out. This was an epic day at Leesburg. And guess what? We get a whole other day tomorrow. Um, this is definitely the best park we've been to on this trip. The most legit park. Yeah, kind of gave me like Disney vibes, but with like some crazy, crazy coasters. <laughs> Alright guys, when you're at the Grand Curios Hotel in Leesburg, there's only one way to get down to breakfast. One of the perks of being an acoustic group was that you get to sign the Intamin prefab, which is pretty awesome. In 2003, and it was voted the best booty coast in the world twice. And I'm talking about this prefab. So it's existed four in the world, I, you probably know that. 
and this was the second. This is where we want it, and we want as much airtime as possible. So there you go. Sweden, I left my mark. For as long as this doesn't wash off, this will be on Balder. So look out for it if you're riding it. Very nice pinmanship. Well, one of the cool things about being here at Leesburg, you get a nice backstage tour of the new water park they're building. Check that out. Indoor water slides. So they can't really do a whole lot outside because it's Sweden, since it get all that hot here. But this is the indoor part of the water park. They're gonna invest a lot. This is very impressive. So there you go. If you are in Gothenburg for any time during the year, even in the winter, starting in 2024, check out their water park. It's probably going to open sometime in April or May. If you're staying at the Grand Curiosa, don't pass up a chance for the rooftop bar because this is one heck of a view of the park. I love the queue line for the Ferris wheel. It's just like this random, like woodsy path out in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're clearly, you know, still in the city, but still. Very good immersion here. This staircase, kidding me? This is awesome. Right, night two, let's get some ERT on Balder. <laughs> All right, I did not get any off ride of the ERT because we just could not get off the train because that was just insane. <laughs> they were giving us, okay, some special rides that mm, they normally wouldn't get, yeah. This much, I mean, you're like sticking <laughs> yeah. your hands underneath the lap bar. That's that's uh, akin to like trimless voyage in terms of how am I going to rank that ride based on those rides with that much room. Yeah. Um, so I will have to figure that out later. But for now, that was ridiculous. What a Jerry, great session. That was awesome. That was like the best ERT yeah, I've bro. ever had. I can't see anything on the camera now. <laughs> that was like the greatest. E we got yesterday was good. That was even better. So. We need to get up in about five hours, go to Scar Summerland, get to ride Trandon, it's gonna be really weird. Yeah. Um, just try to get some sleep after that adrenaline rush. Yeah, we're gonna grab a little little nap uh, um, at the hotel. A little nap, yeah. A nap on the bus, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And we'll be ready to ride that weird <laughs> coaster tomorrow. <laughs> Two days left in Sweden. See you guys in the next one.